Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at Chava Proxies for Realm of the Mad God. So Chava Proxies are a really awesome kind of cheat or hack for Realm of the Mad God. I'm just going to outline how they work real quick and then I'm going to show you how to set one up. Now basically, usually if you're just using a hacked client or a normal client, what will happen is the client will process information, it will send packets or data or information to the Realm of the Mad God server directly and receive data from the Realm of the Mad God server directly. Now what we're doing if we're using a proxy is we're adding one station to this. Now the client will send information to our proxy. The proxy will then send it to the Realm of the Mad God server which allows us to edit the data as it goes out which allows us to you know enable certain cheats and equally the data that is received by the client will pass through the proxy and can be edited as well which is quite awesome and yeah it's quite a lot harder to create hacks this way but they are even more awesome than the ones that you get using hacked clients now i'm just going to outline how you can get those um, proxies to run. It's not the same for all of them, but most of them are pretty similar, okay? So you will get a readme file most likely with the proxy and there's one thing that's really central to this. You will have to edit your Windows hosts file, okay? And you will have to add a certain line or IP address, um, server address to your hosts file, okay? Yeah, well, you will have to find this in your readme.txt file, alright? So this is the line that I should add, okay? So how you can find your hosts file? Your hosts file on Windows is always at the same place, okay? You have your Windows drive, in my case C, then you have Windows, then you have System32, then you have drivers, and then you have ECT. And here we got our hosts file, okay? So I'm just gonna open this real quick. Um, you open it using your notepad, all right. Uh, now all you do by default, it looks like this. You just um, go at the end of the file, you press enter and you add this line. You save, the, you save the file and you're done, okay? So what this basically does is it will allow your computer or you know files on your computer to establish a connection with that certain server. In our case, that's the Realm of the Mad God server, okay? Now, certain antivirus programs will block you from editing this. You will maybe just have to turn your antivirus off. But don't forget to turn it back on because if a virus should edit your host file that yeah opens up your computer to all kinds of misery. So <laughs> just a fair warning there. Alright now once you've done that you have to ensure that you have Java uh, the Java runtime environment Java SE runtime environment installed okay that's another thing that a lot of people do wrong when using uh, these java clients it is a java program so you will have to get java se runtime environment just google it and you will find it and then you can just download either the version for 64 bit or you know um 86 so you can just um choose whatever version you, you want you even get it for Linux and I think from Mac you get it as well. Alright, good. Now once you've checked that, there's actually a third thing that's quite important that is that you need to be able to open your Realm of the Mad God client in your browser. Okay, I've made a tutorial concerning this, how to open your um, Realm of the Mad God hacked client in your browser. You'll find it on my channel and I think I'll be able to include a link in the description as well. Because if you're just opening your client using your flash projector it will not work. And if you're using the AC, ATS, ACT loader from Realm of the Mad God .com, it will not work either. Okay, You'll get some kind of error, uh, I don't know, security error so you will have to open the client in your browser which by default is not possible so go check out my tutorial on how to do that now uh, once you've done that all you basically have to do is go into your um, Java proxy in my case that's realm relay you start the bat file which will start the the proxy I'm gonna start it in admin mode okay and okay 
you go into your browser and you open your client but don't forget that is not possible by default okay now there's another issue here um, by default this these uh, proxies will only be able to connect to one server so you should check that out in the readme file and in this case it's US East 3 okay so I'm going to choose the US East 3 done play as you can see this is working and realm relay enabled yeah it works okay so there's no hacks um, included in this one just yet it's a working proxy um, but you know there's not necessarily cheats um, in this proxy uh, when you download it okay you might have to add those manually I might do a tutorial on how to do that later but <laughs> I think for now I have gone on long enough so I hope you guys get this to work I know it's quite complicated but yeah I hope you will be able to set it up uh, as I said I will include the tutorial on how to open your realm of the mad got hacked client in your browser and yeah thanks you guys for watching I hope you have fun using proxy hacks for Ramotomat um, God see you guys soon on hackerbot.net and God bless you